Women report more angina. If we look at populations, more women will tell you that they have angina. And this likely has to do with women and men having different somatic awareness. Women feel their bodies sooner. They feel pain more strongly than men, and they're more willing to report it. Uh, the other di big difference is that women, uh, maybe because of this somatic awareness, will more often report atypical symptoms. So within the angina diagnosis, where two-thirds of men will have typical angina, only one-third of women will have typical angina, two-thirds therefore will have atypical angina. So atypical angina is more prevalent in women. Uh, it is not a benign condition. It is associated in our women's ischemia syndrome evaluation study, fondly known as WISE. Uh, it is associated with a increased adverse prognosis of major adverse cardiac events uh, similar to one or two vessel obstructive coronary disease. Probably the most important findings of the WISE study have been the appropriate diagnosis, so detection and then diagnosis of coronary microvascular dysfunction defined as a limited coronary flow reserve to adenosine uh, or defined as abnormal endothelial function to acetylcholine. Uh, and that this is prevalent uh, over half of the women with no obstructive coronary disease, but signs and symptoms of ischemia have this diagnosis. And then number two, that the prognosis is adverse and comparable to one or two vessel obstructive coronary disease and therefore needing treatment. Probably the most important recommendation is not to ignore chest discomfort, uh, typical or uh, atypical angina in women or men. Men increasingly also have no obstructive coronary disease. It's a bit of an epidemic. So number one, don't ignore it. Number two, it is a vital sign. Uh, patients with persistent chest discomfort that is not diagnosed as GERD or gallbladder or esophageal spasm uh, likely is cardiac and should be further investigated and then referral to a cardiologist uh, if possible uh, and then diagnosis made or treat, treat presumptively. Try nitroglycerin or calcium channel blockers, try beta blockers empirically. If there is a good response, again, uh, these are safe and effective drugs. This is not over-treatment uh, for this very prevalent condition. Thank you very much. Thank you.